Well, so what's the difference between the 700 R4 and the 204 R? Is that how? Is that even how you say it? 200 R4. No, no. 4 R, isn't it? It's just, this is Nick says. It's a 200 4 R versus a 700 R4. And you asked what the differences are? Yeah. The differences are this. The overdrive is a different ratio. 200 4 R has a 0.67 overdrive. What does that mean? That means that the overdrive ratio is 0.67 to 1, which is the efficiency of the final gear that it has in overdrive. So what's more desirable? What would you want one versus the other? Um, a lot of people say lower, that... The lower number would be better, would it not? The lower number means that it has a better overdrive, better meaning more efficient and higher speed. Um, the transmission, which one's better? It's a toss-up. Uh, there were versions of the 204R that were behind Turbo Buicks uh, and Grand Nationals that can handle more power stock than any 704R, 700R4 rather, that came out. So that's considered to be a better transmission. Both can be built to have uh, to handle a ton of power, but the gear ratio is the big thing. The first to second gear spread is considered preferable in the 204R versus the 700R4 because there's not so much of a draw. The gear, first gear in a 700 R4 is, if you have a high horsepower car, is a, is almost not even useful. It shifts to second gear uh, out of the gate before you even get going because the first gear is so short. The second gear, and, and it's way more preferable, uh, a more even spread between the first gear and second gear on a 200 Both R4. Both overdrive transmissions, though, yeah? Both overdrive four-speed automatic transmissions. Any difference at the top on the overdrive gear? That's the, that was the first thing, the oh, 0.67 is the top got overdrive. It. The other thing is the size. The 700 R4 will require a lot more modifications because it won't bolt right into a spot where somebody's replacing a power glide or a turbo 350 for most Chevy or GM applications. So a 200 R4 can typically bolt in that same spot and the only thing is the dip you'll have to get a modified drive shaft so it's typically an easier install than a 700 R4. I want to get, I want to get me one of them 400, 200 R's, 4 R's. Is that it? Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need. Yes, yeah, a 200, a two, in a lot of cases, a 200 is a better transmission. Are you on TV? Are you on a website? Or what are you on? Well, I'm on ClassicNation.com. Ah. Just like your hat. Oh, oh yeah. Got it.